great. Yeah, the element of play. I love it. Wendy Heald was a collegiate lacrosse champion at the University of Maryland. Oh, yeah, I had such a great experience playing in college. Maryland had a dynasty in lacrosse. We won the first championship in 86, and Maryland went on to win 10 championships. But it wasn't something that was really valued very much in my family. I was actually the baby of five. My father was a doctor. Brothers and sisters were highly accomplished um, scholastically. Those were the kind of expectations of my family. And I just was not a great student. We still have a credit on court time. We do have a credit on court. That's really bad. <laughs> to start a new team is really difficult. You know, start any new program, there's no history. It's a lot harder in the beginning. It was beautiful. It was a symphony as a team off the field um, and on the field. So it was a beautiful thing to watch unfold. Driven and relentless as a coach, new mother Wendy had her hands full. Her success was a strain on her relationship with her husband because she was away from the family more, had more obligations. A bitter divorce was just the beginning of an extremely difficult time in her life. My mother had just turned 70. It was, she was in great shape. She swam every day. She was 125 pounds, glorious. Uh, so there were no, no warning signals at all. In the summer of 1997, Wendy's mother died. It was shattering. I was numb. I mean, I was numb for a long time. We were really spiraling downward. We were in a financial crisis. I mean, I just felt like I had failed miserably. Failed the kids especially. I was literally 90 days from losing the house. I thought, wow, I can deliver pizzas. I looked at delivering newspapers. I circled those three. Pizza, newspapers, director of sales, no travel. Wendy Stevens found hope by doing what she does best. Only well, we want to do things if they're going to be fun, you know? That's definitely part of where I am. Now she applies what she learned as a coach to her new team. Down, she really came back to coaching, which is what she was all about. She's a really good coach. She's like Wonder Woman. She's awesome. I had my first breakthrough. Had a $26,000 day. I picked up the phone, called my dad. Dad, guess what? Paying $26,000 <laughs> pinching myself. And he was like, honey, I knew. I always knew you would be terrific at business. I'm so proud of you, honey. My dad had gone through some cancer treatment that year, and I knew my dad wasn't going to be around forever. Very difficult to lose. Either parent, both parents is brutal. But the gift, the gift it was to get to call my dad and say, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So that's 318 Harvard Avenue. Uh, first of three investment properties here in Nashville. Yeah. You can make seven figures in this business. I've, I've seen it. In fact, this year, I'll have done it. Okay, let's do it.